How you doing today? Today on Life with Belsif, I'm going to show you a few things and do something. And this and that and the other friggin' thing. So stick around for this. I want to start off by saying I got the dash back in as you know I dyed it and it turned out pretty good you know besides my crack here it got a little bigger but it's an old dash what are you gonna do but the actual board turned out pretty good I also made up some new stickers for my dummy lights which are a little too bright red I should have used like a rose color so they're not so sticky outy but they still work like they light up and you can still tell they're lit up I don't know if you can see that so they're not too bad they look better than faded old lights. I also painted the backing on this, around the lights, I had them all ripped apart and I put LEDs in there. Oh, careful! And let me tell you what, they look really nice. Just a nice little glow. If they're too bright, you can dim them down. They don't like to dim very good because they're LED, but they will dim because they're air free. Pretty neat, eh? My switch is a little dirty, she is. There you go. So that's all right. I also put on some don't fall down the stairs tape on the old doors here. Just got some grip tape there from dirty old Amazon. So now I made the doors match. I painted this by hand with a little bit of silver paint. So now it kind of blends with a dashboard. Eh? If anybody's wondering, that's just some crimp tape, which looks pretty much like the factory on here. It does. So grip tape, factory. Damn near perfect. Friggin' right it is. So anyways, while I was putting these lights in the dash, I had a little error going on with this one down here. It kept staying on. So I was like, what the hell's going on? So I was like, I got some gremlins. Look at that, blue signals. What do you think of that, eh? Friggin' right it did. What I was thinking is, this light was staying on, and I was like, what the hell's really going on? So I had a short somewhere. So I was digging here and there and everywhere, and finally found that I had a socket up front that was shorted out. So we cut that off. And my buddy TJ there happened to have an extra socket and I'm pretty sure she's gonna work because I tried her in the hole and she fits. You know what's pretty good when it fits in the hole, Captain? Oh, I also put a new turn signal for me on, eh? Friggin' right I did. Look at that. What do you think of that? Pretty decent. Made in China, why wouldn't it be? Oh, sorry about that. Made in China, why wouldn't it be? We're gonna go up front here now and we're gonna rewire up here. Up here and down here is where we found the bad socket. So I had one of these that the ground broke off and something else broke off inside so it was causing a short. So I just took my good old snipper ruskies and I, uh, I cut the wires right off so we can rewire in a new plug. So let's get that done right now and we'll grab a light so you can see what's really going on and we'll get to her. Brought home the cat light because the other light just blinds me to death. Hopefully this light's not as bad. We're going to find out here in a moment. Let's see what happens. Oh, I left the lights on Jim. Pretty right it did. Well, that ain't gonna work. What do I grab that for? Just so you know, a lot of these extension cords aren't really a three plug. So I'm gonna do the old three plug delete, which is, you know, you just do that. And then of course you get the, uh, the three plug will plug in then, see? It's just got a little bit of hangover, but you're all right, cause it's the ground. So that's what they call the three plug delete. And see, it still works even. Holy dicks, is that bright? Ooh, eh? Can you see me? So what we're gonna need down here is we're gonna need to recut them wires because they look a little corroded, they do. Shouldn't be out here in my sock feet. Getting metal slivers in my feet, I am. Where are you? What do I do with my delete pliers? Oh, here they are. So we'll start off here by evening them wires up. And then we'll get down here, kind of even these wires up. Black one don't really matter because it's friggin' too long anyway. But we'll even her up anywho, because that's what we do. Hold on, we gotta make sure it's even. That one's even. You know what, I'm gonna leave this one a little bit longer. There we go. Splice them up. We'll take our new socket, old socket, new slash old socket. We'll splice it up. And we'll take the old one and we'll make sure these are right. So this one's ground, of course, that one's brown. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. So there you go. Get low on the old shrink wrappage. Holy am I ever. All the good sizes anyway. Oh, I got three left. Green it is. Guess what I'm ordering next. Just keep ordering, why wouldn't you? Okay, so now that I got shrink wrap on all three, like so, gonna give them a little twisty too. Ow. Poke yourself right in the finger with it, why wouldn't you? 
like that. Give her another twisty two, and we'll give her another twisty two. And these ones here, I am gonna solder because they're outside. So we're gonna use our quick FX3 rechargeable solder gun. And let me tell you what, it works friggin' awesome. Quick FX3, just so you know. You gotta hold down the button, and look at that, it's already ready, to, it's already hot. So if you watch down here, you'll see how good it really works. And you wanna make sure you breathe in that solder really good, cause it's good for you. There's one, there's two, there's three. How's that for quick? That thing works amazing. Friggin' right, it works amazing. Don't forget, quick FX3, okay? If you want one of them. Tell them Dirty Old Bills have sent you. Dirty Old Life with Bills have sent you, tell them. Don't forget, it's not a paid promotion, just so you know. I'm just telling you. You never know, it could be if you tell them Dirty Old Bills have sent you. So there we go, I'll slide the shrink wrap over, and then we'll get out the trusty old torch roo. Brought to you by Snap-on. And we'll uh, heat shrink it together. Little heat it, heat, heat, little heat. Little heat, heat, little heat, little heat. There you go, little heat, little heat, heat, heat. Perfect. Done. We'll get some tape and we'll tape up the original splices. I got a little bit of a mess going here, don't I? These original splices had actual black duct tape on them by the looks of it. I couldn't believe it. I wouldn't even believe it if you told me. And they sure look factory, so I don't know. Leave your comments down below if you think that's a factory joint or not. I'm thinking it is. I really am. Like, here's the other one. Like, that looks pretty freaking factory to me. I don't know, man. Quarry minds want to know. Let me know what you think. Hopefully this fixes our problem. We're gonna find out here in a minute. So there we go, now that's done. We picked up some of these LED bulbs for the marker lights. So we're gonna find out how well they work. Just cheap Amazon specials. I ordered a cheap Amazon specials for the other ones too, but they sent me the wrong bulb, so I don't have them. So hopefully the original bulb works. I don't know if it does or not. I couldn't really tell you the truth. To tell you the truth, I couldn't really tell you what I do with it either. We may have a little bit of a problem here. But I'm curious to see how good these work for the marker light, which is right in here. So we yank this out, and we'll try one of these in here, make sure it works. Are you watching this? No, you're not, because you're looking at me. Are you watching this? We'll try and run right there. Can you see it? Is it working? No. Okay, so that means it bulbs in backwards. Let's turn it around. Can you see it? Nope. What's going on here, Jim? Well, I'll be dipped. What could be the problem here? Where'd the other bulb go? It was working yesterday. I don't know what to tell you. Something's not right. Maybe this bulb's gonna be in. I don't know. Ah, what did I do with it? Here it is. Yeah, there you go. That bulb's gonna be in. Oh, jeez. Tell me that you're not gonna see that marker light, Captain. Holy. Oh, check that out. Captain, does the signal work? Let's check it. Why wouldn't we? Oh, if you don't see that coming around the corner, there's something going on. Doesn't even look yellow in the camera, does it? Or does it? It's pretty yellow. And that one works too. So there we go. We fixed the gremlins. Decent. So when I shut this off, the light's off now. That light was stuck on before. So there we go. We got her fixed, Jim. And let me tell you what, that LED is kick assin'. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of all the upgrades in the cabin area there on the... Uh, you know, the don't slip off the stairs, grip tape, and stuff like that. Let me know if you think it worked pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this idea. And let me know if you want to see what this bulb looks like when I get the LEDs in tomorrow. Because they're coming in tomorrow. And I got brake lights too coming in tomorrow. So all these lights will be LED. And when I'm done, the headlights will be LED. So the whole truck will be converted to LED. But the good kind. The kind where you don't know you changed it. Leave me the comments down below. Why wouldn't you? But I'm just gonna tidy this rat's nest up here, put it all back in my loom and stuff, and make it look nice and pretty, and this and that and the other friggin' thing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, and give me a like, hey? Let's see if we can get over 100 likes on this one. I like it when that's over 100 likes, because then I get shared a little more. So share me up. I need you to help me grow this channel. If you like me, you'll do it. If you don't like me, well, you won't do it. So that's the way it works. I'll be dipped, hey? TM. Vice grip garage. But anyways, love you all. Hope you're having a great day like I am. Until the next one, you know what to do for now.